the pretzel bun baconator at Wendy's. That's right, this is brand new for a limited time. Who doesn't love a baconator? I know I do. Hey, welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman. That's right, baby. The double pretzel baconator. Wait, double baconator pretzel. Pretzel bun baconator. I don't know what it's called. Pretzel bun baconator. I think that's what it is. Okay, so here we go. It is a baconator, which I don't know if you know this or not, but the baconator has a lot of bacon on it, in theory. This, uh, this has four half slices on the top, American cheese, a square patty, and then kind of chintzy in the middle here. <laughs> More cheese, and uh, the, oh, the pretzel bun. I actually love, love pretzel buns. Wendy's pretzel buns uh, have been very hit or miss over the years. Like sometimes they're really good when they're fresh, and then sometimes they're like, how long you had these pretzel buns? Since Dave was running the store? How long you had these pretzel buns since since Dave Thomas was a kid? How long you had this bun? Now I'm lost. Anyway, so bad jokes aside, the bacon Aider. Bacon Aider. Bacon Aider. Now you'd think the bacon Aider would have more bacon on it, right? Okay, so I guess for a fast food burger, that is a lot of bacon. We got a ketchup, mustard. It's pretty basic sandwich. Uh, why don't we just, uh, why don't we just, why don't we just eat it? Okay. This pretzel bun, I'm pretty good. Pretzel buns have that chewy outside with that yummy soft inside. The only thing I wish is that they would just coat the top in like salt. Right? Like a pretzel at the mall, you know, like Annie M's or whatever it is. You get the pretzel covered in salt and a big thing of cheese sauce to dip it in. Hey, now, now we're talking. Dude, cover this thing in salt. Give me a big cup of cheese to dip it in. Oh, that'd be good. Okay, tastes like a Dave's. Tastes like a Dave's double um, with no toppings except extra bacon and, uh, and a chewy bun. I don't know. I mean, it's good. It's not great. I will say, I do love Wendy's fries. Mmm. Mmm. They're yummy fries. Mmm. Well, I gotta say, pretty good burger. Nine bucks, not worth it. I mean, it's got a lot of bacon in fast food terms. Not a lot of bacon, like on the picture. The picture makes it look like it's a ton of bacon. Now, we all know that the picture doesn't look like the burger. Here it is. And we all know it's never going to look like that. You know it isn't. It never does. That's not a secret. But come on, man. Why are we so chintzy on the bacon? Let's get bigger bacon on here. If we're going to call it a Baconator, I think it should have at least eight full slices of bacon. This is four half slices, and then what? Well, there was three half slices in the middle? That ain't enough bacon to call it a Baconator. That's just slightly extra bacon. There you go. That's my definitive review. And the pretzel bun, this one's okay. But like I said, I've had bad ones in the past, so I wouldn't chance it. Matter of fact, I'd just skip this whole burger together. Unless you just got it and you're just watching the review to see what, what else somebody else thought. And that happens. I get it. You're like, I don't know. This kind of sucks. I'm going to go to YouTube and see what other people think about it to, like, you know, because they probably have the same opinion as me. I do it all the time. Hey. Thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you. I appreciate all the likes, comments, and subscribes. Hit that next video if you want to watch the next one. And until next time, keep trying Wendy's food, even though it usually sucks. And we'll see you.